Brandberg, quotes from the Gebobo Sepp and Serans in Namibia. If I'm not mistaken, this one has a little in hydro gas come uh, uh, a water bubble trapped inside it. Please look at my description. If I mention in hydro, there would be. Main uh, reason for my selection here, lovely elongated crystal, must be in excess of two inches. And sitting on, on the back portion of this crystal, we have a very thin layer of chalcedony, which makes these lovely patterns. So when we look through this side, you can actually see the, the reflection of the pattern going through this absolutely clear quartz. Now, from a, from a water bubble point of view, or in hydro, gas come water bubble, uh, when you move the specimen from side to side, under magnification, uh, with strong lighting from behind, you'd see motion. And once you see motion, you'd find the source of the motion. I don't quite see it in the video, and please note the the width of the crystal isn't all that much. It's nice and long, but uh, so the vugs are very, very small. You'd have to look for under magnification for the little gas come water bubbles. There seems to be a slight undertone of amethyst in the sky. Typically from the Khobobo Sep we have the, the smoky amethyst, so a little bit of smoky and a little bit of amethyst associated. But I absolutely love this little blanket of Chalcedony sitting across the back of it. Pretty perfect specimen. All the way from the Khobobo Sep and surrounds, let's get a little bit closer. And that of course are little internal vugs adding to the bling bling, the fire of these pieces.